have the cylinder head dialed up within about a half a thou, which is plenty good enough for this old head. And uh, this is the way I've made this fixture up. Just clamp down to the mill table. I'll dial this face in zero, and then I'll come back and dial this valve sheet in zero, and then I'll rebore the valve guide out. That way we can put uh, a new valve in. Now I have the valve sheet dialed in pretty close to zero. Maybe it was a thou or two off, but doesn't matter, we're going to punch a new hole anyway. This is the way how I just dial it in. And then uh, make sure you lock your table in because you don't want it to move on you. And next we'll cut our new uh, valve stem. Good. I'm all set up now. I'm going to use a 15 30 second reamer to put my new valve guide in. I'll just put it oversized uh, valve stem, oh, making everything from scratch anyway. So it doesn't matter if it's what size I pick. But this size will clean up about 99 percent and good enough for this old engine Second one dialed in now. I would say I'm within about a, uh, a thou, thou and a half, which is not too bad for this old engine. And we'll get ready to ream out the second hole. I've got it all set up with a to cut the second valve down. The valve guide, sorry. I've got the uh, mill all locked down, table tightened down, so nothing moves, and I'm going to cut the hole out. Voila, it's done. Well, I've measured inside of the valve guide. Uh, just a slight little drag on both, that's where, how I measure it. And both the same, and I go to measure it. It's on uh, 406, and then bang right on what we want, so, for 13, 30 seconds. 
and then we'll have to go make valves for it. Well, since the, uh, the valve guys are done, uh, it being cut out at 13.30 seconds, so I've got a, a pilot shaft already in there, secured. That way I can uh, grind new sheets, valve sheets. And then you do these at a 45 degree angle. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, before I can uh, cut the uh, new valve sheet, I have to uh, redress the stone because it gets worn out. So it's always best to redress it. And uh, in this application, I'm going 45 degree. So you gotta make sure you set it 45 degrees. And especially when you're using this machine, you gotta make sure you're wearing face shields and protect yourself. You don't wanna really breathe your stuff either. So I'll see if I can somehow get a shot doing this. I don't have three arms, so I'll see if I can get a shot. You guys just see how this is done. Okay, here we go. To cut and redress the stone. can see it's redressed and it's good to grind. And uh, don't mind my dredge, I know it's quite messy. One day I'll clean it up. Another project. All right, well, we'll see if we can um, grind new valve sheets. I'll see if I can do this with one hand. Kind of confident. Let's see how it goes. Starting to cut new sheets in it. At least now you see how the operation kind of goes. And pretty bare well centered in the uh, valve sheet. I must have had it dialed in in the mill. And continuous this operation. There, the first one's done. Now, work on the second one. It's just the same operation I did at the first one. Everything's set up. I got the guide already secured down. And see how this goes. Starting to cut new sheet. I still got some bad spots right here, so we'll get there. Yeah, looking better. Maybe one more time, and that should be good. Good enough for me. I 
And after when you're um, done uh, or your final cut on each sheet, always make sure you redress your stone because it ends up a grind and it's not a true 45. So you always want to make sure everything best as you can do. And when it's done, make sure you wash everything down because you don't want to have cast grinding file and dust into anything. You know, just start grinding out all, all your moving parts. So make sure you clean them. And that should be it for grinding valves. And putting, well, oversizing valve guides. Uh, I hope you like this little clip and leave a comment. Love to hear from you guys. Uh, give a thumbs up or subscribe or whatever you choose to, to pick. Have a good day.